Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this rainbow pizza. The colors turned out amazing, so you wanna keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. First thing we need to do is in a mixing bowl, and I'm using a mixing bowl because I'm gonna be using a dough hook, add in one cup of warm water, make sure it's about 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna add in here two teaspoons of yeast. Also going to add in two teaspoons of sugar. Next, I want to add in one cup of flour, about a half of a teaspoon of salt, and now we're going to bring over our stand mixer. So we got our stand mixer here. I'm just putting the dough hook on. We're gonna raise that up and just get this incorporated first. All right, now we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. You can also use vegetable oil if you'd like. And start mixing this up. Now just add in a second cup of flour. And mix it up. And that just mixed for about a minute or so. I'm going to add my last cup of flour. Okay, so about uh, seven or eight minutes later, you should see it pull away from the sides and we're left with some dough. Now we're just gonna take a clean bowl. I'm gonna line it with some vegetable oil. Take your dough, form it into a nice ball and coat it with that vegetable oil, coat it really good so it doesn't dry out. Let it sit and just wrap it tightly with some plastic wrap. And store it in a cool, dark place, undisturbed. Well, since this is a rainbow pizza, I have some mozzarella cheese. This is just regular shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna divide it up into six different bowls. The first bowl is gonna be the biggest bowl and we're gonna dye that purple. Use gel-based food coloring. We're gonna dye it purple. That's gonna go around the perimeter, the outside of the pizza. And then we're gonna do blue and green and go right on down the rainbow. But you're gonna need more for the outside than you will for the inside, just the way it works out. So put a couple drops of your purple gel-based food coloring in here. And just mix it up with a fork. Mix it in really good until everything is covered purple. Now we have all of our cheeses dyed the colors they need to be. Now we're just waiting on the dough. All right, so my dough has been proofing for about an hour and a half and it should have doubled in size. Just pop it down, deflate it, pull it out. And we can just stretch this and slowly work it to the size we want.
Should I spin it with two hands? It isn't going to work for me. Should stretch it. Keep in mind I'm not a professional. And I'm just going to fold over the edge just to kind of make that nice um, uh, crust area. And I have this large pizza pan that I'm going to put this on. And by the way, before I pulled my dough out, I started to preheat my oven. I wanted to get it as hot as possible. 550 degrees is the hottest my oven goes to. So I want to get it to there because we want to replicate how they cook it like in a brick oven. And that's like a thousand degrees. Uh, my oven doesn't go that hot. So we're going to do the best we can. So now what I'm using is just some regular tomato sauce. Um, I thought about doing a white sauce, but I decided regular sauce. And we just want to use a ladle and circle it around. Probably one more. Now we can bring out all of our cheeses again. So one of the things we want to do is we want to start in the middle with red. So I'm going to put a dash of red right in the middle. This is the red cheese. Then next we're gonna go with orange and we're gonna go around that with orange. Now this step is optional. Before I put it in the oven, what I did was melt down some butter and I'm gonna brush some butter on the crust And after I brush it, I just have this three cheese blend. It's uh, Parmesan cheese, Romano cheese, and Asiago cheese. I figure why not just make the cake or make the pizza pie look pretty. Also, let's make it taste good too. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on the crust. Now just take this, put this in the oven at 550 degrees or as hot as you can get your oven. And it should take about five minutes or so, but I'm gonna look at it and check it. Check it out, it's in there, it's baking, looks pretty good. Okay, so it took about eight minutes at 550 degrees Fahrenheit, and it set off my smoke detector twice, but it's all worth it. Looks amazing, and I'm gonna let it cool down just slightly, and then we'll cut it up and taste it. So I've let this cool down just a little bit and we're gonna cut this and I'm gonna try to cut the piece that can get me every bit of the colors. So wish me luck. Look at that. Now I can't wait to dig into this and see how it tastes, if it tastes like a rainbow. Well now it's time for the taste test. Let's see how we did with this pizza. Good. The, the crust could have been done a little bit better, I think. And that just goes into if we had like a hot stone or something I could put it on. But the outside crust looks pretty good. Mm. It's good. You might want to try like, if you're going to make this at home, Try preheating the crust for maybe two minutes or so in the oven before you put the toppings on it. Mm. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this rainbow pizza. This was amazing. It was a lot of fun, very colorful, and it tasted good too. So I hope you get a chance to make it for yourself. And if you do, please share with me on any of my social media at FunFoodsYT. Also, check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. 
And as always, hit that big like button if you enjoy this video. Hit the big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to be notified when I put a new video up. And I will see you guys next time.